service, the long days, like long that you cover four or five hundred k's a day, really remote, which that wears people out as well. Um, when you camp, the camping nights, so you've got to set up camp, got to pull it down in the morning, so it can build up. That's what makes Enduro harder, the, the whole Yeah, I thing. heard you're really bad at doing a tent too. <laughs> got it I get by Jane, that's the thing, right? I'm just there comedy, that's... I was going to wear the jacket last time, I didn't know where it's Oh, I see, so it's a top and then armor Are you finding it? Yeah, Alright? Yeah? I, I struggle with the, the two fingers because this isn't yes. geared for off road, mm. which is what I have. Yeah, yeah. And you, but you haven't got all the Enduro Pro and all that stuff. You're just like, okay, basic. I'm just like raw. <laughs> and I'm sure you did fantastically well. So what we're doing here is um, practicing riding on a unlevel bit of ground. So you've got to keep the bike leaning into the slope and um, put all your weight on the outside peg so that you get as much traction as you can on the on the wheel. I must say Chris is um, not giving us much in the way of leeway, you're just saying, mate, just go and do it, which is a good thing. So we all kind of bring our best foot forward. The trick is not to fixate on rocks and stuff, just look where you're going. And then follow your nose. I must say, everyone on this level two are really nice people. A lot of them were on the level one with us, so it's really good to make old acquaintances again. It's amazing where these bikes can go. God. Yeah. You think they're big heavy beasts, but they they actually are quite nimble. He's a good bloke, Chris. Doesn't um doesn't put any pressure on. And the good thing is he just lets you get on with it. So uh, we've had a few um little misdemeanors, nothing serious. But he just checks it we're okay and you know, sort it out yourself, get yourself going, invariably we'll help each other. Whoop, that's interesting. How are you guys feeling about doing buck jumps? Buck hut. Hey? <laughs> Completely clutched. <laughs> Completely clutched. <laughs> yeah. So are you feeling confident? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. We're, doing, we're doing wheelie school. <laughs> wheelie school. Alright, so this is popping wheelies. Just made it look really easy, but watching the other guys, clearly it's not. So it says it's got to be slow. Jeez. Okay. I think I might have got it up there. I'm not sure. Everyone trying to practice their jumps. None of us actually uh, did very well at it. Anyway. Heading back for tea. Okay, so Chris is going to take us for a ride. Get some air through the jacket. Yeah, we're actually going right into the bush. What I found this morning was I was looking right in front of my wheel big mistake. The last thing you want to do is look in front of your wheel. You've got to look where you're going. I might have said this already, but uh, that's what you do. Up 
and over. Come around the side and up. Feather the clutch. Yeah, this is the gnarly bit. Up and over this row. Yep, there we are. I'm going to say it again. The bikes are nimble. You just got to put the right inputs into them and they'll go where you want them to. Just fantastic fun, isn't it? Hey, first time I came through here this morning, I was thinking, oh, mate, oh, this guy in front of me is Mark. A really nice guy. I met him last on the last course, and uh, he's really keen on the bike. He loves uh, loves getting out there. It's just such a pity that um, you know time's always the issue, isn't it? Yeah. So this is a um, a ride out to a ledge that looks out over the valley. In fact, it looks out over the valley where. We've been doing most of our training and uh, when you do level one on the second day you come through here because you're deemed to have the necessary skills what chris is saying to us now is we just need to be doing it better so let's see it's just it's just a great little ride though there's some technical bits, a uh, bit of sand here and there. These little humps, it's just, what you got to do is you got to just use your body and push down. As you go over the crest, you push down on the bars, get the nose down. I think, I don't want to be too overconfident, but I think what today, today's riding has done for me is, I think I would have probably tanked it a few times but I think with, her, with the confidence comes the ability to actually just get out of little little tricky bits and trust me there's been a few tricky bits today <laughs> let me tell you a tricky bit as well is to just see where you're going but don't look at where you're going look at where you want to go I don't know if you noticed that, but that was sand. You just gotta let the bike do its thing and not there as well. Oh Sherbert Herbert. Lean back and let the bike just find its way easy on the handlebars. And the the thing is having the courage to not just bloody lock up. Because that's when you get into trouble, and this is not even deep sand. But hey, you know, these bikes take you to places that you would not normally go to. So, the adventure is getting there. But part of the adventure is being there as well. And, um, you know, as with any sport, you know, the people you ride with are typically brilliant guys all in the main you know in their 40s 50s and dare I say 60s and above let's get through here up, 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 up. juice into some sand whoa, 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 whoa. that was close lean back throttle through I'm at the back, so there's no one to pick me up. You got to give the front tire some air if you cannot air, but raise it up if you can. Like now, up, whoop, yep, that was better. Put your bum on the seat. Oh, oh, that could have gone badly. That could have gone very badly. So every year we here, hey? Fantastic. Slightly challenging. Yeah, challenging, right? good. Definitely yeah. challenging. That, this, oh, that sand. No, it's good. We did well today. Yeah. Yeah, really, really good. This is a well-deserved break. But you're right. Bit of sand, bit of rock. <laughs> a lot bit of, of everything. Bit of tree. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of everything. We got through it all, though. It's good fun. Confidence good. Absolutely. Yeah. Well,
we need it for tomorrow, hey? I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I think we ordered. I think we 